Hey there, Postal here. What are we doing today? Well, we're taking out a plane that was requested uh, a while ago. I've got a, little, uh, a decent line of requests. A lot of them are planes I don't currently have. Things like the I-210, things like the, two, uh, the TU-12, uh, some premiums that I just don't have. But this was a plane that was requested uh, that I do have. This is the Model 81A. Um, this is do, not a a premium plane that you can just go and get. This is one to get the wind in crates. I won this in a crate a long time ago, like when I first started playing the game. I might have even gotten it from a um, like a promo code or something like that that might have been provided when 2.0 came out. Um, but Jacko Beans, one of my um, subscribers on Twitch. Uh, requested uh, in my Discord to uh, post a video on this, and so I am. I think of this plane like a very, very weak P-36. <clears throat> there are definitely some differences, but there's definitely some similarities as well. So let's uh, take a look at what we've got here for options. You've got pretty darn good altitude performance. In fact, I'm definitely not taking advantage of my altitude performance at all. You've got reasonably good maneuverability. We got pretty good airspeed. Let's see what we can do here. But not to have two American planes with the same situation happening in a row. But man, this plane's um, guns are incredibly weak. So we need to be mindful of that. We have two 50 cal machine guns. Yeah, you heard me right. That's it. Two 50 cal machine guns is all I've got. So this plane really isn't that good at doing what I'm about to try to do, and that's go after somebody on full health. You see that they don't even really pay too much attention to me because they're just barely losing hit points. This kind of plane might be a better shot. And this plane, maybe, just because it's a bot. It's less maneuverable. Yeah, we can get away with less maneuverable. Go. Ooh. Low hit points. It's really what you want to be focusing on. So what can I do to maximize my pathetic damage output? Um... And it's, unfortunately, it's not attacking planes like I'm attacking right now. But this is the only plane to attack, so we're kind of stuck attacking it, right? But the good thing is, we've got the altitude performance to stick with this dude. They've unfortunately already got their command center. Thank goodness, we finally got ours. Enemy bombers inbound. Let's go ahead and get our engine boost on. We, this is a premium plane, so you've got the ability to put engine cooling on here, which I highly recommend. It's really going to be your forte. There we go. Focusing on that speed. So let's go ahead. Let's get over to get over to the center garrison. So re really, you want to focus on your altitude performance in this plane if you ever happen to get it. That being said. I tell you right now, it really isn't that good of a plane. I like it as a kind of meme plane. Um, I use it quite a bit for, like right now I am on a um, low tier mission for assists. So I don't necessarily mind if I miss the kills. Ah, uh, shoot. Am I killing myself here? Yep. Unfortunately, it's F7 this. Oh, he's turned around, which is just swell. Let's see if we can't get him knocked out. Again, people don't even really notice you're shooting him because it's doing such pathetic damage. Um. Really, not like uh, getting chunks taken out of you by a BF 16 C6 or anything silly like that, right? Look, five, 
10, like, the amount of hit points I'm taking out here is anemic at best. Um, but we are kind of doing what needs to be done to hang on to this game. Um, I don't really actually want to hang out here too much longer. Uh, I didn't mean I want to commit suicide, I just meant I didn't want to hang out in the center. Let's go head on over to the other side here. Um, actually the command center is being held pretty well, so let's try to hang on to the garrison here a little bit more. Hopefully not get bomb dropped here, there we go. Can't get rid of this guy. There we go. It's doing all the little things, and I can tell you, in this plane, this is not easy to do to, to try to get these amount of kills to have this kind of impact. Um, in a plane like this, it's just God dang it, we lose it anyway. Um, it's just trying to hold on, really. So let's try to get uh, some more kills over here, and then we'll head back to the center. Oh look, oh, look. See, normally I'd go right after that guy. But, there's this, there's this guy with, like, no hit points. Can we get him? <laughs> one kill. One, like, one, one hit point of damage. Um, you really want to be paying attention to what planes you're going against. Even something like this AR-197 is definitely more maneuverable than I am. I hit the air brakes there and started turning with him, and luckily, was just, you know, able to stick with him. Um, let's continue to have our team attack that sector there. I will go towards the garrison in the center. Yeah, we've got the bombers attacking there. Um, and we've got now actual bombers and ground attackers attacking there as well. I'll take care of the center. I hope we don't take care of it soon. We will still lose this game. Even with us, uh, you know, doing some heavy lifting with such a mediocre damage output. Oh good, we've got the command center, so we're good. We're pretty well good at this point. We're going to be going to air supremacy in just a second here. Um, and let's move along from here. I really hate three sector maps. I feel for the enemy team at this point, just because in this situation, if if we get the you know once the snowball starts rolling, the game's over, right? Air supremacy achieved. And you know if we were on the receiving end of it, it would be the same situation. Uh, you just don't have a lot of flexibility to turn around a game when there's only three sectors. The game's gonna be over here in just a second. So I know I'm making this plane look really good. Um. And we'll go over my setup and you know my thought process, but the, the fact of the matter is, I mean, it's a tier four battle, so the bots are going to be worse. Um, the planes are a little bit more clumped together. I'm not running into things like an A6M1 or anything ridiculous like that. Although, I don't really worry about the altitude performance on that particular plane. Um, yeah. So, but I got a Marseille. <laughs> of course, and I'm a Campbell. Anyway. This plane is not a strong plane, and, and I know it's going to seem like, okay, uh, there's being humble and then there's just being stupid postal, but the fact is it really isn't, and we'll take a look when we get back to the hangar. Let's go. All right, so, I mean, five points off of getting a wing legend. That's kind of annoying, actually, but not that I ever go out of my way on just a normal rando battle to get anything, to just kind of see what comes my way. Uh, we were able to get, what is this, Flying Guardian, right, yep, and then the Conqueror, Marseille, uh, Akamatsu, McCampbell, Flying Fighter, no, Flying Paladin, uh, just a regular Guardian, Hero of the Sky, and a freaking Flying Warrior, so we just got all three of the um, fighter badges that you can get. Um, 18 kills, dang it. Nothing special about 18. 17, you get the Marseille. 19, you get the Postal. 20, you get an Ace. Nothing special about 18. Uh, but the fact of the matter is this plane really isn't that good. Um, uh, the, what makes this plane so good is it's a premium. And so l let me explain that. I've put my highest point pilot in this freaking plane. This is my F-86 pilot. This is an 11 point pilot. This pilot has a long time before it has 12 points. 
Um, you know, but I've got things like aerodynamics expert and aerobatics expert. I've got things like evasive target. I've got my engine guru and my, my marksman one. Which, by the way, I'm getting rid of engine guru and going for marksman two if I ever get another freaking uh, pilot point here. But that's beside the point. So you can put, because it's a premium plane, you can put your best uh, pilot in here. It's tier four. You don't need to necessarily have your best pilot, but it sure as hell helps. Okay, again, it's premium, so that means that you've got more slots for your consumables. You're at tier four, but you can have engine cooling. That's significant. You know, you can, you've got that extra speed when you need it. Um, take advantage of it. Um, you've got all your airframe equipment slots ready and available to you right away. In fact, the only thing that's missing is an airframe consumable, which I would recommend putting... Um, a pneumatic control assist on this once it's if you choose to specialize it I've been able to specialize this for a million years and, and just haven't but if you do specialize it you're gonna put uh, a pneumatic control assist on here so that you've got that e extra turning from time to time I've put a relatively balanced build on here just put um, operated engine and lightweight wing frame on here um, to give me a little bit more both airspeed and maneuverability without taking away from either one of those since neither of the um, minuses on these affects speed or maneuverability. And so that's my approach with this plane, but what really, really knocks this plane down is the fact that it's just, it's uh, so anemic when it comes to its damage output. Let's compare it to, you know, the quintessential, the top of the line. Um, the BF-109B. Yeah, the BF-109B, it doesn't have what? It doesn't have the same airspeed. That's actually kind of surprising, right? Uh, but it's got better altitude performance, barely. It's got the same maneuverability. Actually, it's got better maneuverability considering this Model 81A. Let's put it over here. The Model 81A has better maneuverability because of my pilot. This is a six point pilot, no, a five point pilot. Um, and so, yeah, the maneuverability of the BF-109B can certainly get a lot better. But beyond that, besides, you know, not just having two freaking 50 cal machine guns, you have a 20 millimeter cannon, and then you have four 30 cal machine guns. Yeah, they're 30 cal. They're not 50 cal, but you've got four of them, and this 20 millimeter cannon does a lot of damage, as you know. Um, so that's pretty darn nice, and that's why people take, tend to pick this plane. You've kind of got the best of all the worlds. Really, the only thing that you're you're down on on the BF-109B is going to be airspeed, and it's not so significant that you're really even going to notice it. The biggest thing you're going to notice is, again, this plane comes with the slot to put engine cooling, Whereas this particular plane, you're going to have to specialize it. But it's tier 4, you're gonna, you can specialize it whenever the hell you feel like it. I've Again, I've been able to specialize this plane forever and a day. I just haven't done it. So the engine cooling that you can get on the Model 81A is only going to be good for you for like you know 20 battles max. And then this plane is going to be specialized and you're going to be able to do the same thing with this plane. Um, so the BF-109B is definitely a better plane, right? Uh, well, let's, let's take a quick look at something like the... I want to look at the more popular planes. The P-36. P-36 is, again, uh, I mentioned this in the battle. I don't have this particular plane. But the P-36, the gun armament, you're going to have four 30 cal machine guns eventually. And your 20, um, excuse me, your 50 cal machine gun. So, again, in combination, you're just going to be able to put out a lot more damage. Well, I'm sorry, excuse me, you're actually going to have two 50 cal machine guns. So, right off the bat, you've got the two 50 cals you'd already have on the Model 81A, plus four more machine guns. Um, your overall airspeed, by the time you're all said and done, is going to be pretty comparable. Your overall maneuverability is going to be pretty comparable. Your overall altitude performance is going to be slightly worse. But even if all three of these are just slightly worse, you're still going to want the P-36 over this plane just because you get better damage output. Um, I mean, that's just, just, just what it comes down to. At the end of the day, you want to be putting out more damage at this tier. 
um, your overall airframe differences aren't significant enough to make it sound like the Model 81A's measly two machine guns are going to be pumping out a lot of damage, right? Um, we've already talked about the BF-109B. You've got planes like the Key, the Key 43 and the A6M1. Keep in mind, these are incredibly maneuverable planes, incredibly low altitude, incredibly low airspeed. It's just a, a different genre of plane. You can't really compare them uh, apples to apples. Other than the fact that, look, you get two 20 millimeter cannons at tier four and two 30 cal machine guns. Um, the Key 43, you just get two straight up two 20 millimeter cannons. So you're able to do a ton of damage with these planes. Yeah, they're, they're turn fighters, but what that means is you've got to use something like the Model 81A to avoid going down low enough to where you're going to get smacked around by these turny turn fighters. And same with the Bristol 146. Now the Bristol 146 is a turn fighter. Again, very, very mediocre altitude performance and airspeed. It's a different gun setup. Instead of huge cannons, it has just a lot of crappy machine guns, but you've got a lot of them. So again, your gun armament number is going to be significantly higher than your gun armament number for the Model 81A. And so eh, we're kind of having a, a you know, a, a, I'm not even sure it's really a, a useful conversation because the Model 81A is not a plane that you can just go out and buy. It's not available on the premium shop. It's not available as a tech tree plane. It's a plane that you're going to win. I'm really having this conversation for a future if it ever does become available uh, it's just it can't possibly be really worth it there's better planes out there in the tech trees first of all and beyond that there's just better planes out there in the, as far as premiums are concerned there is a 2PA 2PA what is the 2PA well you've got two 50 cal machine guns on this and a defensive turret. That's pretty funny, right? So you've got the same uh, mediocre guns, but at least you've got a defensive turret on this particular plane. You're gonna be missing a lot of everything else about the plane um, compared to the Model 81A. Worse altitude performance, worse airspeed, worse maneuverability. Well, eh, barely worse maneuverability. Um, actually, probably better maneuverability once you put a decent pilot in it. The 2PA is an American Tier 4 premium plane that I wouldn't necessarily recommend it either just because of the, the gun output. Again, for whatever reason, at Tier 4 in this game, um, American fighters with two 50 cal machine guns for a premium plane seems to be okay. I wouldn't recommend it in either regard. If you're going to get a, a Tier 4 premium, there's better ones out there than the Americans. And for future reference, there's some sort of crazy nifty package for $20, uh, $18.36 or something silly like that for the Model 81A. If you want a competitive plane, this isn't necessarily going to be it. If you just want a fun plane that you can do well in sometimes, you can get a lot of assists in for the most part, uh, a unique plane that you don't see out there on the battlefield all that often, all right, hey, it's your money, spend it how you want. If you want a competitive plane that you can just drop into and, and you can carry battles or at least have a positive impact every single time, you got better options out there. I do, again, I just, I, I enjoy playing this plane, but I cannot recommend it as a plane to go out there and um, spend your hard earned money on if it ever comes up as a package in the future. But um, does anybody else have the Model 81A? I, I've had conversations with people, and yeah, the, there's a handful of you guys that have it out there, but nobody really plays it. Nobody really likes it. Um, you know, if, if you're going to go down to Tier 4, most people play in planes that, that they know they're going to do well in, like a BF-109B. Um, I-17 tends to be a pretty popular one down here. Um, I like the HE-112 also. Uh, but I mean, all things considered, you've, I mean, a, if you want to be American, then do a, a, a P-36 is going to be a better option than the Model 81A. So, um, I would love to hear your, your perception on this particular plane if you've got it. Um, again, you know, I know I just had a almost 14,000 personal point game. Um, 
I've played this plane quite a bit, so I know the nuances of this plane, I know the nuances of the planes I'm going against. So yeah, I'm going to have pretty good games in this plane. Doesn't mean that it's um, a good plane. Just figured it would be an entertaining battle. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all next time.